Welcome Aries Sun Moon and Ascendant Signs to your Astrology Tarot reading for the week ahead. I'm going to be checking where the planets are placed in the skies at the moment and letting you know how that may affect you over this current week. We have a beautiful and rare grand cross in the skies at the moment and it's a cardinal grand cross so it is and you're a cardinal sign Aries so this affects you and and it plays out with the Chiron that's sitting in your house at 21 degrees so here I'm feeling this energy here with this grand cross is opportunities to pull things together in your life it's to overcome challenges and difficulties um, make great achievements in your life it's quite strong energy coming together of this sign cardinals are generally they can be high achievers they can be more focused on work or um, achieving rather than fun or goals um, but they can be impulsive they can be competitive as the, the energy is coming from your sign Aries now when this grand cross comes together all of these planets energies all meet and culminate together and 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 enhance the energies in your sign because you're you're getting hits from the other signs as well now we are the grand cross as i said is an opportunity for um overcoming difficulties and obstacles because the because they're squaring each other or opposing each other it can bring in sometimes um, struggles or difficulties or challenges but it brings the opportunities to make these things work together so if there's a certain part of your life that's not working i.e it could be your family side your work side your relationship side your personal side and one of these are just not working in with the other this is bringing in beautiful energy for you to try and harmony and balance into this sign or this energy this week now I'm with your cards it's the opportunities we've got the ace of pentacles on the table and it is the energy here of expansive energy it's this um, ace of pentacles it's opportunities for um, it could be new new ventures new financial opportunities coming in new opportunities to sort your finances out new opportunities to sort yourself out on a physical form so your physical life couldn't be sorting that out so everything going on around you as i said yourself relationships family um your working career so and how you make your money even depending on your placement here whether you're a sun moon or ascendant aries and this energy i'm feeling is it's really quite heightened especially for you aries um and it's also because you've got that Chiron sitting in yours it's opportunities for you to work hard this week on overcoming any obstacles or blocks that you've had from past traumas or past hurts or things that you need to heal in your life maybe you've already done your healing and that's beautiful it is op uh, offers opportunities and for you then to share and teach and help others to grow and overcome their obstacles but I'm feeling this energy here is quite intense and it feels to be that it's opportunities for you to get things working together so if there's something not quite right in your life it's an opportunity to get this thing in balance and get these things all working together so really good energy here now I'm feeling with this um, this knight of wands he's in the reverse position knight of wands um, can be a little bit reckless now you're they're fire signs like you Aries so here we're looking at all the fire energy here that's going on and let me check the chart because I'm as I said I'm looking at a um, paper chart instead of a screen chart so I'll be looking off screen as I'm checking where the fire signs are so Sagittarius is usually quiet as it is. Uh, we have Leo. Leo, I believe, yep, it's quiet as well. So the only one is you, Aries, and the fire signs that is active. And there's um, a little bit going on there. You have the North Node, which is um, all about purpose and intention, what what your role in this life is, and working through um, and giving an extra push in working through what you're here for what you're meant to do and these things can sometimes feel a little bit uncomfortable they can feel out of your comfort zone they can feel like you don't have any skills in that area but it's giving you that impulsive push or that drive or impulsive drive to um to be able to to tackle these things and especially since it's hitting on that um, mars energy uh, that's sitting over there in um, cancer which is squaring you so it's it's then enhancing your energy here with this push drive motivation coming in from Mars. Now the Pluto energy coming in from Capricorn wants you to um, 
to make changes and transformations to any area of your life that is not working or any area of your life that is just not right for you anymore or not coming together as I said cohesively and, and working in balance and harmony so the Pluto wants to make these beautiful great changes in your life um, if you haven't already done so and made those changes and worked through any walls that you have up or any tra past traumas that you have so let me just pull a couple of cards from my new deck for you okay as I said um, so we've got this reckless energy that's coming in I should finish reading your cards here um, we have this reckless energy coming in from the knight of wands knight of wands as I said is a fire energy um, but it's in the reverse position which means it's not in its um, positive aspect of its power and it's not using its positive aspect of its power in a strong way now that um, knight energy is normally quite fast paced energy working very fast but the recklessness of it in the reverse position means Means that it can go in too impulsively head first without putting any thought into it first just or action no thought so just be aware of that and especially with those cardinals we have an aspect from each of the different um, elements so we have that energy coming in so you have a little bit of emotional energy a little bit of um, grounding energy you have some thought energy mental energy from the fire so the being a grand cross it represents one part of each of the elements and you are the fire element of that grand cross then we have the um, moon in the reverse position which can bring a little bit of com confusion now you currently have the moon in your sign at the moment today and perhaps even tomorrow um, it'll as I said I'm not on, on the computer I can't just um, scan through and check the days ahead I'm just looking at midweek on a printed version so but currently I know that the moon is sitting in your sign Aries now this can bring confusion it can be um, it can bring overwhelming energy it can bring heightened intuition but I'm feeling it's bringing a little bit of unclarity to you about something maybe it's your goals maybe it's um, where you felt you've been a little bit too impulsive in certain areas or you uh, for some of you it could have even been holding back but I feel like that energy to move is coming forward because of this grand cross that's coming up now so just from my new deck that I have in which is just words it's saying at time number 33 if that means anything to you and it says time wasting be careful not to waste time use this energy very wisely that's in the with this grand cross use it to overcome difficulties use it to face new challenges head on use it to achieve and accomplish or step outside of your comfort zone and move into areas that you really want to do that fulfill your soul don't waste this energy um, jump in and do it now but number three at 33 could also be significant for you Aries so thank you for joining me Aries I will see you again next week Taurus sun moon and ascendant signs to your tarot astrology reading for the week ahead now I'm going to be pulling cards for you while I take a look at the planet placement in the skies at the moment and see how they could be affecting you Taurus I'm currently reading off a printed sheet rather than my computer um, program software because it's glitching at the moment so I'm just referring back to a printed sheet at the moment which is why I'm looking off, sc off screen so Pluto uh, let's see Taurus at the moment let's have a look at where you are Taurus Taurus we have got the moon moving into your sign in the middle of the week so this could bring heightened intuition it could bring a time of wanting to um, I'm feeling coziness around you I'm feeling maybe it's time I don't know why I'm feeling like cuddle time cozy time you're wanting you're wanting embracing you're wanting um to be held you're wanting that that emotional nourishment I'm feeling is what could be coming up in the middle of the week for you that's just what I'm feeling with that moon energy for you now moons can mean many things moon can mean intuition it can mean feelings heightened feelings heightened emotions um, it can be um, a protectiveness can indicate issues around mother or motherhood but I'm feeling for you there's a little bit of an element of needing nurturing um, emotional fulfillment and emotional nurturing in the middle of this current week so in the week ahead which will be towards the end of this week around Friday um, let's see the red to the 19th I'm reading on my current chart so the 19th and 20th I'm, I'm guessing will be around about when the moon is hitting your sign Taurus now at the moment in the skies we have this beautiful rare grand cross it is within the cardinal signs which brings forth opportunities to um, overcome obstacles and challenges because the, those sides are quite strong and motivated determined to achieve their they put like work and goals and efforts in front of 
having fun and relaxing so it's giving this energy here um, of need, you know being able to overcome difficulties and challenges but also being able to achieve it just achieve certain things I'm feeling for you as well you've got two of swords in the reverse position which can bring in a sense of indecision or not knowing which way to go now this energy could be bringing in because it's quite conflicting to your energy it could bring in an energy of just not knowing how to work or deal with this energy it is beautiful energy it's powerful energy but I'm feeling it may be um, it may be too impulsive it may be too strong now with the grand cross it brings in a level of elements from each of the the signs it's cardinal signs so for it for you um, in the earth's earth realm let me just check here um, what we have here is the cardinal earth is Capricorn of course and that is the energy of um, Pluto so Pluto energy is trining your energy because it is a, a an earth sign and Pluto wants you to make great changes and transformations it wants to shake things up a little bit in the areas that are not working for you it wants you to be brave it wants you to face your fears it wants you to step outside of your comfort zone and this could be causing that energy of indecision or hesitancy or just not quite sure which way to go there so moving through, um, as I said, we've got the moon coming up into your sign round about Friday, Saturday. Um, on your sign, Taurus, I'm just checking in your opposition sign will be Scorpio. Let's have a look over in Scorpio, see what's going on over there. We've got Mercury over there in Scorpio at the moment. So Mercury in Scorpio wants to um, communicate. It wants to open the lines of communication. It is sitting in opposition to you. So it could be bringing in um, possible challenges when it comes to communication speech getting your opinions heard getting your opinions heard clearly um, and i'm feeling here this this um two of swords in the reverse position could be indicating a little bit of that too it's a struggle or a challenge with communication or words or getting your point across correctly or um, heard effectively now my computer is doing all kinds of things at the moment let me see let me go back to the screen here there we go, I've got two streaming programs running at the same time. Um there we go so let's see now we've also got the celebration three of cups beautiful energy we could be looking at some kind of celebrations coming up for you this week um, it, you might hear news of births or engagements or um, somebody purchase making a purchase or a, a promotion um, but it's some kind of celebrations coming up or something in your own life that you need to celebrate and look at how far you've come look at your achievements now i am feeling completion and the world energy in the upright position is saying that maybe something's coming to a completion um, maybe you've got some hesitancy around it you've got mixed feelings about that coming to an end but you've got to look at how and celebrate the aspects of how far you've come or, or what you achieved over that time or the celebrate the positive aspects of that completion so let's pull a couple of cards now from my new deck let's see what comes out for you today Taurus okay we've got a little bit of rest going on for you card number 60 so 60 may be significant to you pink may also be significant to you over this week um, but we've got the energy of resting needing to rest now maybe it's time to rest maybe you've accomplished or achieved something and now it's time to rest because we've got this energy of rest going on here on the top of the deck you can see august energy coming up as well now maybe maybe something significant happened around this in august maybe you started bringing something to a completion in august or something happened in august that's coming into a completion now because the energy of august is also on the table and number 15 and number 60 so thank you so much for joining me taurus i will see you again next week welcome gemini sun moon and ascendant signs to your astrology tarot reading for the week ahead I'm going to be taking a look at the astrology chart to see where the planets are placed at the moment in the skies and let you know how they could be affecting you, Gemini. At the moment we have this beautiful grand trine entering um, in the skies at the moment. It's a rare, sorry, it's a grand cross and it's a rare, rare event. So it's planets in all of the four cardinal signs at the moment. So here we've got energy. Now what this means is um, cardinal signs are quite 
achievement orientated they're able to face situations head on they're able to um, overcome obstacles or, or make great achievements so it's opportunities for you over this week to push forward to make achievements to move 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 forward through obstacles or challenges that you have pa faced over this past few weeks now i'm feeling also energy we've got the moon moving at the end of the week um, so about sunday monday into your sign gemini this could bring in heightened intuition it could bring in more emotional energy it could bring in uh, the need to nurture yourself emotionally now we've got here the um, knight of wands he's in the upright position and he's seeking adventure so over this week gemini it could be um, opportunities for you to engage in something new to try something new to um to go out and have some fun or to learn and explore through adventure through doing now here i'm just taking a look at gemini we've still got um jupiter in your sign in your first house if you're an ascendant gemini so this is bringing in opportunities for growth luck and expansion so let me just pull through some more cards cards are not pulling so fast for you today gemini let's have a look what's going on here oh there we go there's your two cards so here we have the um, emperor emperor is sitting in the reverse position oh, we've got a couple of cards for you now this could also bring in energy here about somebody around you or certain situations being a little bit unflexible emperor can bring in opportunities for em it, it well the emperor can mean um that there's inflexible people or inflexible situations going on around you people that are not budging people that perhaps are a little bit stubborn stubborn they're stuck in their ways they're not willing to um move forward to be pliable or flexible or move with the times i'm feeling very stuck in their ways now it could be a certain person around you it could be you yourself now it could be bringing in challenges and difficulties around you here i'm feeling the um the sun in the upright position let's take a look at where the sun is on the chart the sun is currently in libra which means it's trining your energy because it's also an air sign so it's trining your energy which is a positive aspect and therefore bringing in energies to help you this week now this sun hitting jupiter which it is it's actually um it's a full square energy of sun hitting um, jupiter sun at 25 degrees jupiter at 21 degrees so they, that's quite a tight tight aspect there now that energy hitting each other on a a squaring squaring aspect means that it could be challenging it could be opportunities for you to look at these things highlight certain things that need to be um, worked through now because it's jupiter that's being hit here by the sun's energy the radiant energy from the sun it could be um anything being highlighted now jupiter likes to expand um, but it could be expanding certain situations that you need to deal with for the sun then to the sun just wants to bring in positive energy for you the sun is our it's our life force it's our nurturing um, it's our it's our energy it's our soul um, connection and it's our what the sun is it wants to want you to feel fulfilled on a soul level it wants you to feel um, like you're achieving or feel like you're being able to shine your light or being able to achieve or, or feel like you're doing what you're meant to be doing sorry i'm just battling with this um there we go the computer as i go it's um i'm not quite sure what's going on today um anyway i'll continue on so this energy of this radiant energy this vitality um this strength this vibrancy it's hitting jupiter so jupiter wants to expand so maybe it's expanding your positivity it want to expand your vitality but it could also be expanding on highlighting to you and showing you areas where you're not vibrant or you're being held back in darkness so areas where your soul is not quite nourished or your soul is not feeling um, open and able to shine its light fully the sun might be shining and expanding those things with jupiter energy to show you what you need to work on that's not for everybody that's just one way to interpret that the other way is that it wants to um, expand on your um, vitality and expand on your positive energy over this current week now we've got the moon down here and the moon is in the reverse position it can bring in um, energies of confusion it could be quite confusing energy with this um, grand trine that's going on now the aspect that um, 
in this grand trine cardinal is the um, Libra. Libra is a cardinal and it is trining you. So the energy is affecting you because um, they're in the in the grand trine there's an aspect from each of the elements. You are the air element and you, from that grand trine is the sun in Libra. So that does affect you. You are getting hits from all of the other signs there as well because their grand the grand cross means that they're all hitting each other um, and wanting to work together and bring harmony and balance to to areas that may not be currently in harmony and balance and that's hitting you through your Libra energy and your Sun energy also hitting onto your um, Jupiter in your sign which wants to expand something expand your vitality expand your your confidence expand your positivity but it could also want to highlight things that where it's not expanding now I'm feeling it could bring some compute confusion in especially around Sunday Monday um, with the moon when the moon goes into your sign now I'm reading off a printer chart today because my computer's glitching a little bit so I'm not able to look at my online program and, and move through and see the exact degrees when things are moving on certain days. Um, so I'm just printing, I've printed off one for the middle of the week which is the 19th, reading from today which is Thursday thursday to next wednesday so and i have to keep moving things off my screen so it could bring in a little bit of confusion energy there but it could bring heightened intuition it could bring heightened emotions but it could bring um and it's going to be sitting with the jupiter energy so it could really expand those emotions there with that jupiter energy pull one more card for you gemini from my new deck Okay, um, Gemini, it's saying don't get, um, there's a little bit of fear energy going on with you around the Middle East and the war and tension in the world. So it's saying don't get too engulfed or too um, emotionally attached to the energy that's playing out in the world at the moment with the wars in the Middle East um, because there's a lot of fear energy that's accumulating in the world and you may be picking up or tuning into that so it's just asking you not to um, not to get too engulfed in that energy because it will affect your emotional um, especially when that moon hits your sign it's really going to affect your emotions so just be very wary of that um, turn off your TVs turn off your social media um, get some grounding get some earth get out in the garden and get out in nature get out on on the beach or wherever your nature is for you but it's, it's wanting you to put bare feet on the ground or somehow just ground yourself into real world things nature things real world so and and not not be so and take a look into the sky take a look at the world around you in your own little circle or bubble so you're trying to remove yourself from this fear energy at the moment because that could be affecting you especially around about sunday or monday so thank you for joining me gemini i will see you again next week Welcome Cancer, Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs to your Astrology Tarot reading for the week ahead. I'm going to be taking a look at the planets in the sky and see what they're doing at the moment and how they could be affecting you Cancer. Now over this current week we have a beautiful grand rare grand cross in the skies at the moment and this is a cardinal grand cross so this brings in energy of being able to overcome difficulties or challenges or to give you that extra motivation and push to um, move through productivity to move through and and work through certain situations accomplish things make a start on things it's this energy of um, being able to overcome challenges over this week now we've got this um, sun energy in libra which affects you because that is squaring your energy the sun is radiance and vitality so that forms part of this grand cross the mars that is in your sign capricorn is bringing in uh, sorry cancer is bringing in energy of um push drive motivation wanting to do wanting to 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 it can be also conflicting energy conflict and challenges energy here but it's also wanting to push through that energy and push through those challenges now in um, Aries the 21 degrees we have Chiron Chiron is uh, being able to overcome past traumas or boundaries or hurdles or past hurts and to be able to move through them now with the, the in Capricorn the other cardinal sign which is um, squaring you is um, Capricorn and that is Pluto. Pluto's in Capricorn and Pluto wants to shake things up and make great changes. So let me create change in this ch um, channel here. I've got um, I'm currently reading off a printer chart today because my computer is glitching a little bit keeps popping up screens on on the screen in front of me so I can't see 
what the um, chart is so and I can normally go through and press and move forward by days and have a look at the exact degrees but today I've just printed um, midweek which will be around about the 19th so I'm working from Thursday today through to Wednesday um, for the week ahead for you and it is uh, I'm just using the printed version which is why I keep looking off screen so I keep using the printed version which is why I'm looking off screen so one more tarot card for you cancer now the moon moves into your sign in in next week's reading i'll read that for you next week um, as i said this energy of this grand tri rare grand cross in a cardinal sign which are a cardinal sign cancer brings in opportunities for you to push ahead move forward overcome challenges and obstacles um, okay, so let's get into your reading because we have your cards on the table. We have the two of wands in the upright position. So it's a good opportunity for you to use this time over this week to um, assess things, to make any um, ideas of which direction you want to go. Should you be changing direction? Do you have a new path? Do you have two paths running at the same time? Are you head on um, moving into two directions and, and moving forward using this energy to do two things so do two types of energies or do you have two things going on you've got two big main things going on in your life at the moment two areas of your life so it could be blowing up or could be in a good way or a bad way it, it's but two big things lots of things going on here for you with this too but planning lots of planning needed to be organized planning to be structured planning to um to be able to overcome challenges but planning also to be able to move forward with two projects or two things at the same time two things on the go which means you're going to need to be time management and organized here now we've got the nine of wands the nine of wands is in the upright position it is the um, card of resilience so it's the card of um, being strong being resilient i'm feeling you've got the energy here to um, do what it takes to get through these situation so it's more than one situation so it seems to be a couple of things happening at the same time but it's saying you've got that strong strength and resilience P muster in that energy muster in the energy from the sun in um, Libra because it's hitting your sign and how it's hitting your sign cancer is because um, it is sitting squaring to you cancer so it's a squaring aspect which can be a little bit challenging sometimes but it brings in opportunities for you to make these things work together and use it to your advantage so it's the sun energy sitting over there in Libra. Sun air it wants to fulfill you, it wants to give you invigoration, it wants to give you life force energy. And this is how all part of this um, grand cross that's going on at the moment. So this grand cross also includes um, the mars energy in your sign which is that push motivation and drive um working through the chiron energy and then we have the pluto wanting to make changes and transformations around things that are not working for you so here is the resilience card the nine of wands saying that um be resilient here pluto is in its final stages of well it has been in its final stages of Capricorn it actually moved in to um, Aquarius where it's going to be for 20 years but it's currently sitting in retrograde so therefore has moved back into a uh, back into Capricorn so it's not won't be here a long time so this energy of Pluto which is very strong energy it's energy which makes you face your fears it's energy that makes you bring ends to situations that are not working for you it's energy where it makes you brave enough to bring things to an end or a completion now it is sitting there at the final stages of that so it's saying that that's almost over because it is now gone it's now moved forward it's now no longer in as of the 19th of um um, on, as I said on the chart that I'm reading it's a printed chart and it's not in retrograde so therefore it's moving forward and it is moving back towards Aquarius so it's not this energy is not going to be affecting you so much um, in the current in the coming weeks so be resilient you'll get through this energy here if it's been affecting you in that way where you've been feeling the urge to things coming to an end or things shaking up a little bit around you but it does if if you're getting that feeling it means that you need to assess it and look at it and that's where the planning two of ones comes into it because it's saying you need to look at these things you need to look at you know should you be doing these two things tackling these different directions or should you be finally letting one of these paths go and moving forward into the other path and being brave and and letting that go while we have these final moments of pluto in capricorn energy which is hitting your sign 
Then we have um, the Knight of Wands in the reverse position. The um, energy here of that recklessness coming in from the Knight of Wands, the fire sign, which is the Aries in is like um, you, you're needing to work through this part of what you're needing to work through or to overcome or to use the advantage of um, Pluto wanting to give you the strength to face your fears to make your changes and then also that extra hit that you're getting from the sun in Libra hitting you at the moment in a um, 25 degrees when you have your Mars in 23 degrees so those are two planets are really working together even though they're squaring each other's energy bringing in challenging aspects challenging because they could be conflicting a little bit and Mars is a conflicting planet so they could be conflicting but it is bringing opportunities for you if you work with the flow of the universe it's bringing in energies for you to get more vitality or more confidence more um more stamina more strength more drive more um, vitality and positivity in your life so hopefully that makes sense for you cancer that was a little bit of a long one now let me pull a card from my new deck to see what it wants to say to you for the week ahead cancer signs here we go well we've got a little bit of um number 12 could be a, a important but it's also talking about Antarctica so maybe looking into something that's going on around Antarctica could be enticing this week you may find something new may you may find a hidden secret you may find something really really interesting we've got April being important for you also um, April or the number seven April being coming up into next year or something important and significant that happened in April we're pulling all the all the um, the months here so let me just turn the, the deck around Okay, so we've got April. Something either happened in April that was significant as part of what's going on this week, or um, also it could be the April coming up next year. You could make a decision by April around all of this. So, oops, so let's just pull in. Okay, a message for Cancer signs. Okay, we've got Harmony. And we've got go for it so we've got number 76 go for it it says you need to go for it at this time but you need to make sure you're bringing balance and harmony so working all these things together we've got australia down here in the in the in the corner but it's saying that um you need to bring in this energy of harmony and balance make sure you're making all these things work together thank you for joining me cancer i will see you again next week sun moon and ascendant signs to your tarot astrology reading for the week ahead now i'm going to be looking at the planets and where they are placed in the skies at the moment and how they could be affecting you leo i'm reading off a chart printed chart today because my computer's glitching just a little bit um, and it keeps popping up screens in front of me so oh, we've got your cards already coming out leo um, so therefore i'm not able to um, use my normal program that i use where i can push through and see what's coming up to the exact degrees on each day so i'm just printing off um, reading off a chart that i've printed for the 19th of october which is around midweek reading from thursday through to um, next wednesday day for the current week and as I said I am moving screens that keep popping up in front of me so bear with me this week Leo let's get into your reading um, I just want to say first of all what's happening in the skies at the moment Leo as we have this beautiful and rare grand cross at the moment and it's a cardinal sign and what that means that in each of the cardinal signs which is um, Capricorn, Cancer, Aries and um, Libra we have big planets playing out there so those energies are all hitting each other they're exactly in the high 20 degrees so they're all um, quite tight aspects playing out there and it is hitting the energies are hitting each other which means it's bringing in opportunities for you to move through obstacles or to bring in overcome challenges or difficulties um, giving you that burst of energy to achieve or step into new areas or to work through problem areas um, now it's some of the areas could be tr um, squaring off each other which could be um, harder aspects being that there could be challenges going on but it's giving you this x when these all these planets energies hit each other and we've got some big planets playing here today um, up in the sky so it's could it's energy of wanting you to achieve wanting you to give that burst of energy to be able to conquer and move forward we've got a movement card also on the table for you we've got the chariot in the upright position 
I just lost my screen. So um, here we've got what we've got is the sun in Virgo, which is vitality, positivity. It's bringing in life force energy, your vitality. Um, it's also hitting in with Mars. Mars is about motivation, stamina, drive, competition, competitiveness. It is um, the Chiron, Wounded Healer in Aries, and that is air wanting you to work through um, past traumas or where you've had walls built up because of past issues or past um, pains or, or things that have gone through in the past. And then we have Pluto in its final degrees of Capricorn. It was in in Aquarius where it will be for 20 years but it went into retrograde so it just jumped back over into Capricorn but it's now gone it's now forward moving so it's moving its way back over to an Aquarius so it won't be there too much longer but it is currently 29 degrees in um, Capricorn as of the 19th of October so therefore that is energy wants to bring changes and transformations to areas that are not working for you anymore so let's take a look at your cards here Leo to see what's playing out for you now that your signs empty at the moment there's no big planets playing out in your in your sign at the moment leo so here we've got the four of cups and it wants you to look at things from a different perspective here so maybe look at a situation that you've been going through and take a look at it from maybe a different different perspective now this can bring relief i'm feeling with the um we've got the six of swords also in the upright position which means moving into clearer waters moving into calmer waters so moving through any um difficulties or challenges that you have been facing um this is driving me crazy by the way this popping up screens everywhere um so this energy is like um moving forward overcoming obstacles overcoming challenges moving into calmer waters now i'm feeling a calmness i'm feeling an amazing energy around this we've got the chariot the chariot's also in upright position chariot is a major arcana which means it's an important part of your life important step in your life and it's movement so we've got movement you could be moving houses you could be moving jobs you could be um finally moving in something that you've been trying to get off the ground but there's movement coming moving into calmer waters we've got that six of um, cups bring six of swords bringing calmer waters ahead for you but changing your perspective is what is most important here for you leo now i'm going to pull a card from my new deck to see what it brings for you leo in this week ahead there's your card already um leveling up we've got number 144 it's the final card in this deck and it's saying that opportunities this week for you to level up let me find my screen up leo so the opportunity for you to finally level up in a certain area to move forward movement coming calmer waters and we're leveling up so great cards on the table for you leo hope you have a great week ahead and i will see you again next week Virgo, Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs to your tarot astrology reading for the week ahead. I'm going to be taking a look at the chart to see where the planets are placed at the moment and how they may be affecting you Virgo. I'm currently reading off a printed chart today because my computer's glitching a little bit. It keeps popping up screens so I can't um, quite see the chart because normally I will go through and move the days forward so I can see the exact placement to the exact degrees where today I'm just reading off a chart from midweek which I'm going from Thursday to Wednesday this week and um, so I'm reading off the chart for the 19th but I can give you a general idea of what's going on here so here we have a beautiful rare placement in at the moment on in the skies we have this grand cross rare grand cardinal cross so that what that means is that we have got um, we have got in the cardinal signs big planets in each of the signs all in close um, degree orbs so we, and what that means is that we've got like the sun 25 degrees in Libra we have got the um, Mars is 23 degrees in Mars is 23 degrees in Cancer, Sun is 25 degrees in Libra, we have got Chiron 21 degrees in Aries and Pluto in its final stage is 29 degrees in Capricorn. So this energy and this is as of the 19th. So this energy of these planets are all coming together, all hitting each other. Now it brings in opportunities here for you to overcome obstacles or difficulties or gives you that extra drive and motivation to push you on other challenges or push you on new things that you want to do, get things off the ground get things going achieve things um, motivation vitality with the sun positivity 
stamina and strength with the um, with the Mars energy. We've got needing to overcome difficulties or past wounds or from the Chiron in the Aries, and then we have got Pluto wanting to make changes or transformations to areas where they're just not working for you in your life anymore. Also, making you brave enough to face your fears head on. Now, it's only going to be there for a short time in that sign of. Capricorn I'm going to talk about that a little bit more for you Virgo because it is a trining sign to you so it's a um, it's the earth element which you are also in the earth element so it is trining your energy which means it's helping your energy so it's sitting there only for a short time Pluto stays in a planet for around approximately 20 years, 15 to 20 years. It moved out of Capricorn um, and it moved into Aquarius where it will be for 20 years, but it just went into retrograde and it moved back over into Capricorn. So therefore that energy hits on your energy. So it may, and that gives you that energy to um, maybe change things or end things or, or situations that are not working um push through those energies or be brave and face certain skills it can it can bring where you things that are fizzled out and not quite working for you anymore um, you finally getting that energy of um, it's the right time for me to leave this or to start this or um, to make changes in in my life that I need to make now as I said it's um, it has been in, in Aquarius where it'll be for 20 years and it's 29 degrees now because it is now moving forward again so it's heading it exiting its way out of the earth sign and moving back into the air sign of um, Aquarius so it won't affect your energy once it hits the Aquarius again so at the moment it's still on that tail end where you could be feeling the urge to um, make changes but this big energy that's playing out with this grand crying is cry, um, this grand cross cardinal sign is um, quite strong energy that could be bringing in um, as I said opportunities to achieve opportunities to overcome difficulties or obstacles let's pull cards and see what is on the table for you this week Virgo we've got the nine of pentacles in the upright position nine of pentacles that's all about abundance so we've got some abundance coming in we've got um, good good opportunities to re, um, reap the rewards of your hard work so you might start to see payoffs coming in here we've got the tower now the tower is in the upright position so it could be bringing in some kind of disruption this week there could be a little bit of challenges that you're facing or something um disruption to your finances because we've got the pentacle sitting right next to it or somehow affecting your abundance in some way so there's a bit of um, this challenging tower energy that could be affecting your your balance now nine of swords for some of you could be bringing in it because it popped up there as well could be bringing in a little bit of anxiety um, caused from the tower energy so something that's going on out of the blue out of the ordinary could be going on with you know a family member or somebody around you or a shift or shake up around your workplace or, or something going on around you that could maybe making you a little bit restless or sleeplessness or giving you a little bit of anxiety at this time now the three of pentacles is um offering you the suggestion to collaborate with another person or work in with another person in some way to help you in this situation so maybe somebody else is going through a situation a tower moment um, and the collaboration the three of wands is a way that you're able to help now this could also be I'm feeling for some of you Virgo people this could be um, related to what's going on in the world um, especially since uh, the, the, around the Florida area New Orleans I think um, I'm sorry I'm not familiar with the America um, or is it North Carolina it's that kind of area there's all this awful stuff going on there and they're they're needing donations of certain things now i'm feeling this energy coming in from the um, three of pentacles energy is that need to help others so it could be you're probably looking at um the anxiety and stress you're feeling maybe maybe you know somebody going through something connected to um one of these natural disasters and therefore you're wanting to help or you're you're stressing about them or you're worried about them or you're just worried about people in general there and you're trying to find ways that you can help others because we've got this collaboration three of ones and it's wanting to um to, to help in some way so whether that's on a small scale with people around you or you needing to find help from the people around you or whether that's on a grand scale of what's going on in the world and you're looking at um it's 
quite stressful. It could be affecting you personally. We might know somebody. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling like you're wanting to look at ways that you can help and work with other people here, um, whether that's financial contribution or boots on the ground kind of contribution. But there feels to be a need to work with others to help others or to work with others to help yourself in some way. So um, I'm going to pull a card from my new deck here Virgo to see what that brings forward for you for the week ahead Oops, we lost your card okay I did pick that one up um, Virgo off the ground that fell on the ground because it was such a beautiful card I couldn't let that that stay out of your reading 114 is the number that could be significant um, 11 and 4 could also be significant here as well but it's the manifest card so it's up and sitting next to the abundance it's opportunities for you to be abundant and to manifest over this current week so I hope you have a beautiful week Virgo I will see you again next week Welcome Libra, Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs to your Tarot Astrology reading for the week ahead. I'm going to be taking a look at the planet placements this week and see how they may be affecting you Libra. Now currently in the skies at the moment that does affect you is a beautiful grand cross, a rare event in the cardinal signs which are a cardinal sign Libra um, we've got big planets in each of those cardinal signs in close degrees so here we have in your sign we have the Sun which is all about um, vitality how you shine um, how your 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 positivity your your light how you shine in the world it's how you um, restore yourself restore your energy here we've got hitting that energy is the Mars energy sitting over there squaring you in um, ca um, cancer so that could be squaring your energy which could bring in a little bit of a challenge in an area of needing to make these things work together working together in those two houses there so energy of Mars Mars is sitting if you're a cancer if you're a Libra ascendant then cancer is sitting uh, Mars is sitting in cancer which is your 10th house so this could be trying to align um, aspects of your career to your personality or who you really are there could be some challenges there but it could also bring um, conflict as well but it, um, for some of you it could come off as conflict but it could also come off as um, motivation impulsiveness desire stamina charge ahead so it's quite good energy quite strong energy is what I should say intense energy um, hitting that also is Chiron in Aries which is your opposition your seventh house your relationship house if you're a Libra ascendant um, and this is where you need to work through past wounds relating to um, it could even be like past past um, relationship walls that you've put up around relationships or past traumas you've, you've experienced in past relationships but you're working through something in your in the past or, or that energy of Chiron the wounded healer if you've already worked through your past wounds then it needs you to then teach and help others through those um, so wounds or things that they've been through that are similar to what you've already been through now also finishing off that grand trine is um, Pluto over there in Capricorn it's in its final degrees where it's about to move back to Aquarius but at the moment it's just reinforcing any changes or transformations that need to be made in your life okay we've got in seven of wands in the upright position is a little bit of defensive energy Libra around you okay so currently on the table we have got there's your cards we have got the um, t seven of wands which can bring in a little bit of defensiveness so either having to defend yourself or a defensive energy around um, it could be like moving forward your, your, your resistance defensiveness around certain issues now as I said I'm having a few glitchy problems with my computer today just bringing popping up screens so just bear with me while I keep moving them away now we've got three of wands three of wands is when you're um, thinking about expanding or growing in a certain area or looking at how far you've come so reaching a platform and looking at um, the foundations you've built and and preparing to make strong foundations to move forward or to grow bigger in some way the hermit in the reverse position is saying that either you're thinking about isolating yourself or you've been in isolation it may be time to move out of that isolation now with the nine of wands nine of wands is um, 
it can be a long time like over time um, but it can like it's resilient so it could be something that's happened for a long time and maybe it's time now to make those changes especially since we've got this big powerful energy with Mars giving you the push to and stamina to overcome difficulties or move forward and then Ma, um, Pluto wants you to face your fears and be brave here to overcome any certain situations now I'm just trying to pull through what this is so we've got this expansion opportunity opportunity to grow and expand to build strong solid foundations and move forward in a bigger way but it's saying that you're either being resilient just moving forward the way you are um, just staying like on on your level ground that you are and not really stepping up and making any moves like forward but it's saying you've got this opportunity now to think about your future think about how you can make things bigger in the future or make things better in the future so you, you think it's like you're setting on the his horizon and you're looking forward thinking okay what's my future bring um do I want my future to be like my present or do I want to make changes and make growth and make strong foundations for my future but we've got this um defensiveness going on as well so whether somebody is defiant or um, putting up boundaries in some way or there's some kind of tension going on there where it's like not allowing you to move forward or somebody's not on board with you moving forward or stepping up or making changes but I'm feeling there's some kind of tension or defensiveness going on around you um, this is what the cards are saying is going on around you and we've got this sense of isolation either that you just want to you know hide away from the world or that you've kind of been hiding away from the world and here it's saying now you need to think about your future and do you want to keep hiding away from the world or do you want to step out and and look at this beautiful big world and see where you can move from here but the nine of wands is like this resilience it shows this strength of courage or strength of um, energy that you have Libra you've got this strength inside of you now this strength to um, to be resourceful this strength to um, find balance and harmony in whatever situation you're in so that's going to be used to your advantage now use this beautiful energy this grand cross this rare grand cross in the cardinal signs which is your sign to help you move through any obstacles and help you um give you that motivation to achieve or to move forward because that's the energy that's in the skies at the moment so you really need to jump on that libra because it's really playing off your energies in a big way so use it to your advantage thank you so much uh, actually let's pull one more card for you libra for the week ahead out of my new deck and see what the, the week ahead the message for the week ahead for libra oh, lots of lots and lots of messages for you libra let's take one from this side we've got energy we've got strong energy coming in it's quite strong intense energy with these big planets playing up around you opportunities for magic to happen use this to to manifest bring magic into your life around you um, it's also quite calming energy and I'm feeling also um, with this energy here it's uh, it's about finding a way to bring calm and peace into your life in a beautiful magical way which brings you energy and vibrance and vitality so thank you so much for joining me Libra I will see you again next week from Scorpio Sun Moon and Ascendance to your tarot and astrology reading for the week ahead so I'm going to be taking a look at where the planets are at the moment and let you know how they may be affecting you Scorpio looking at your sign first of all Scorpio we've got Mercury sitting there which is the planet of communication so here it's about um, communication being very important over this current week for you or while it is sitting in your sign but I'm reading a, a forward for the week ahead which is today um, Thursday through to next Wednesday I'm reading off a printed chart today I normally read from my computer where I can move forward and look at the exact degrees for each day but my computer's glitching a little bit and keeps popping screens up in front of me so so I am today reading off a printed sign so bear with me while I do that now um, what we have got already on the table is the nine of wands and being resilient now the amount of signs that have had this card today the energy I'd say of this entire week is resilience we need to be resilient this week all of us the energy of the world is resilience because there's so much it's about things that have happened for a long time or been going on for a long time we could start to feel a little bit worn down by certain situations and it's saying that you just need to hold on and be strong hold on to the um to get through the situation this is what the energy here is on the table and has been for many of the signs now what it, in the sky at the moment we have this beautiful rare grand cross 
playing out with this cardinal signs. Cardinal signs means that it brings in opportunities for you to surge through, to push forward, to achieve things, to overcome obstacles and difficulties. It's quite a powerful, strong energy of um, resourcefulness, moving forward, moving ahead, um, achieving, conquering. Um, it's all of that kind of energy on the table here with this, this beautiful rare grand cross in the skies at the moment. It affects everybody. Um, it affects you, Scorpio, primarily because of the Mars energy that's sitting in Cancer. Um, that's trining your energy, which means it's helping your energy. Mars is helping you. Um, its energy is about passion. Its energy is um, resourcefulness, power, stamina, strength, um, motivation. It can also be conflict and competition which health competition is not a bad thing. But this energy is trining your energy and helping you through your current situation. Some more cards for you, Scorpio. There's your next card. Your next card is the um, Six of Wands, but it is in the reverse position. Okay. Six of Wands in the upright position brings recognition for... Um, your hard work, being well known, being rewarded for or being recognized for your accomplishments. In the reverse position can show that there may be um, lacking of that recognition. You could be feeling like you're not recognized for everything you do, um, not recognized for all the effort that you put in. You're feeling a little bit underappreciated perhaps here, Scorpio. Now with the, um, the Four of Cups in the reverse position, it's just asking you just to shift your focus. Don't be so, don't, if you start going down that um, trap of feeling like nobody appreciates you, nobody cares about what you do, nobody um, values you, then you start to fall down a deep spiral so and, and that's a that's a deep dark spiral so it's saying maybe shift your um when you feel that happening shift your perspective to something more enlightening or something more purposeful i'm feeling it's more um it's more something that lights you up even but something use that energy in a much more productive way it's saying rather than a um spiraling way so don't let it feel like um yeah the energy is just getting on top of you you need to you need to get onto it straight away stress is what's coming out for you from my new deck um don't let it stress you out don't let it get to you because it can go deeper it becomes a little bit stressful um but i'm feeling that you need to change your perspective so that you're not um focused on on that kind of lack feeling that feeling of lack or feeling of like you're not appreciated or being undervalued let's pull one more card for you so we can get a positive card on the table for you now the number 13 or one may be significant this week or the number 131 may be significant for you um, okay we're looking for scorpio for the week ahead okay it's so asking you just to wait. Um, with it, may, we've got movement here on the table, but it's saying um, don't don't move forward. We've got the October card here also on the table, but it's saying maybe it's slow month. Maybe you're not moving forward um, over the month of October, but it's asking you just to to um, not be impulsive with energy of movement. Where that means you know moving house, moving jobs, moving. Um, friend groups moving moving from one situation to another it's saying don't be impulsive um just wait you need to wait on it at least to get through the month of october it's saying hope that helps you um scorpio thank you for watching i hope you have a beautiful week ahead and i will see you again next week welcome sagittarius sun moon and ascendant signs i am to your tarot and astrology reading for the week ahead I'm going to be looking at the chart to see where the planets are placed at the moment and how they could be affecting you, Sagittarius. I'm reading off a printed chart today instead of my normal um, computer one where I can move through and see exact degrees of placement, where today I'm just reading off a chart from the 19th of October. So about midweek of where I'm reading today, which is Thursday through to Wednesday. Now we've got a couple of cards already out for you, um, Sagittarius. So I'm just going to read them from here. We've got the Three of Pentacles. This is bringing in a collaboration energy, so it's about working with other people. Now, it's a working with other people to 
bring something into fruition or bring something to completion. It could also be energy of um, completing a cycle where you've been working with other people or collaborating with other people. Um, here we've got this energy of um, adventure with the Knight of Wands. We've got new things ahead. The ener the Knight is action. The Knight is um, it is movement he's the knight is he carries forth the orders from the king and he's the one that actions them so the knight here of of fire is quite um impulsive motivated energy it's energy of um adventurous energy like Sagitt and as you are Sagittarius because you are a fire sign that's where I'm getting that energy from so it's saying you need to be in your own unique essence here your essence Sagittarius essence of the uniqueness about well, the adventurous side of you and you need to move forward with that you've got some things coming up around you now we've got the page of um, pentacles also on the table and it's asking you to explore that side of yourself explore things um, it even could be like your uh, ninth house metaphysical type things it could be things around law or justice or um, right and wrong philosophies and religions it could be exploring those kinds of things on the table for you now we've got here the seven of swords in the reverse position and it's saying that you need to be transparent this week transparent especially to when you're working with other people or collaborating with other people you need to be transparent about your goals for the future or your side of the story so here being a uh, transparency is very important now in this in the skies at the moment we have a beautiful rare grand cross playing out in the cardinal signs and that brings in energy of being able to achieve um, or move through difficult situations and challenges and face them head on we've got some big planets playing on now what this grand cross means is that in the cardinal signs we've got big planets sitting there in um, close um, aspecting orbs so that means we have got Libra uh, 25 degrees of the Sun with the Sun we have got Mars sitting in Cancer at um, 23 degrees we've got Pluto sitting in um, Capricorn at 29 degrees and we have got um, Chiron the wounded healer sitting in Aries at 21 degrees so these are the big planets that are playing out and energies are hitting each other which are quite strong intense energies over this time so it's saying make the most of this energy it could feel quite fast paced the things that happen here could feel very far fast paced to your carefree nature Sagittarius your jovial um, charming nature now it could be quite swift energy it could be a or it could say that it's happening fast so if there's an opportunity here for you to move through obstacles or to move forward or to achieve then it's a short period and you need to jump on that but it's saying that um, you've got this carefree beautiful energy or it could be bringing in um, energy of finding ways that you can have a more carefree life and that's what you're charging forward with with this night energy that's on the table or exploring with this page energy so thank you so much for joining me Sagittarius I hope you have a great week and I will see you again next week um, Capricorn Sun Moon and Ascendant signs I am going to be reading the chart today and letting you know what the planets are doing at the moment and how they may be affecting you Capricorn I'm also going to be pulling your tarot for your week ahead message now currently in the skies at the moment moment is a beautiful rare grand cross in the cardinal signs affects you greatly Capricorn because you are a cardinal sign so you your part of this is Pluto sitting in Capricorn at the moment Pluto wants to bring in energy of um, changes and transformations that wants you to be brave and face your fears make any changes that are necessary in your life now the um, the devil in the reverse position wants to liberate you wants to free you so there could be certain situations in your life that maybe um, make you feel trapped or make you feel like you just don't want to do that anymore and the energy of both the devil in reverse as well as this grand cross this rare grand cardinal cross is bringing in energy of wanting you to um, do what's best for you and make the changes or make make those shake-ups that need to be made expand with this beautiful positive energy this beautiful energy now the other um, elements that are playing out here and affecting this grand cross energy is the sun in Libra which is all about vitality it's about positivity it's about shining your light um, and your 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 vitality most importantly now the Mars energy in Cancer is bringing which is your opposition and if you're an ascendant that's happening in your seventh house of relationships then this is energy of passion desire it's energy of um, 
competitiveness or conflict, but it's also drive and stamina stamina and motivation. So it could be um, like this burst of energy, burst of motivation that's coming in here for you, Capricorn. Now it is saying here that the Three of Wands is about expansion. So looking at ways that you can expand yourself. Now this defensive energy with the Seven of Wands, I'm feeling is because you've got the Mars cross your sign from you sitting in opposition to you so it's okay we've got in opposition here um your sign we've got pluto pluto wants you to be brave it wants you to stand up for yourself it wants you to take your power back it wants to you know, to assert your will um but we've got this dominance coming in from the opposition or relationships around you with Mars. Mars likes the battle. It likes the fight. It likes the competition. So it's like this comp this um, push and pull energy of trying to assert your will, trying to stand up for yourself against somebody that or relationship that is quite um, wanting their way and, and wanting just battle and, and conflict and fight just for the fun of it. So... Um, it doesn't have to always play out that way but that's kind of the energy that's going on there in a more positive way Pluto wants you to make the changes that are right for you that's going to allow you to have that um have your will back have your personal power back and and having that mars energy is giving you that push or that stamina or that drive to do that that extra energy to do that but we do have a bit of um, defensiveness going on with the seven of wands and i feel that is coming in from this conflicting energy that's playing out in um, your opposition sign between you and your opposition sign but it does form part of this grand cross this week um, the other part of that is um, chiron the wounded healer is 21 degrees in aries and that is asking you to work through any past traumas or past wounds that you've experienced. So I'm going to pull a card from my new deck, Capricorn, just to see if there's a message here for you for the week ahead. Okay, there's your sign, stability. It's all about building stability, um, standing your ground. Um, stability is not always a bad thing either it can be stubbornness too being like um, can be stubbornness and, and not willing to budge or not willing to move but stability is all about building a strong foundation here we've got the three of wands three of wands is when you reach that platform of looking at your life where, you, where you've got to where you are and thinking you know what's my future where do I want to go for my future directions do I want to change what I'm doing do I want to go bigger with what I'm doing how do I build that really strong foundation get that really good stability in my life and that's really what's going on around you but manifesting also very important around you so manifesting um, uh, energy coming in around this week while we've got this beautiful rare grand cross that affects you greatly because you're a cardinal Capricorn and this is in the cardinal sign so it's very much affecting your energy powerful intense energy that you need to use to your advantage to manifest and find stability in your life or get a stable foundation in your life for the future thank you so much for joining me for the week um, for your reading for this week capricorn i will see you next week and i hope you have a great week from aquarius sun moon and ascendant signs to your tarot and astrology reading for the week ahead I'm going to be taking a look at the planets and where they are placed and how they may be affecting you in the week ahead, Aquarius. I'm also going to be pulling your tarot for the messages ahead. Now, at the moment, we have got this beautiful grand cross, a rare aspect, a rare um, sign. It is in the cardinal signs, which means they are more motivated. They are all about conquering, achieving, um, working through their goals, overcoming obstacles and hurdles and having that motivation and stamina to move through anything or to, you know, get things off the ground or get things going. So this is the energy that's playing out of in, in the week ahead while this where we've got this grand cross happening at the moment. So it's giving you that energy to overcome things or to move forward. Page of Cups in the reverse is um, immaturity can bring in energy around um, new relationships because pages are new pages are um, young fresh energy so it's fresh energy coming in um, around emotions it could be emotional energy where it's coming from so if I take a look over at cancer because that's our emotion sign with the grand cross it represents an element of each of the elements so we've got one from earth fire wind and air um, now as we're talking here about relationships and um, emotions I feel I need to look over here in this grand cross at 
Cancer. Cancer is um, the, uh, the, it's the Mars energy. So Mars is all about motivation, drive and stamina. So it can be passion and desire also in that energy. I feel that's affecting you. Now, the one, the way you're affected from this grand cross is through the air energy, which is Libra. Libra's got the sun. Sun's all about the vitality. It's about, um, and this is this is chining your energy so therefore it's giving you helpful energy the sun is wanting to help you Aquarius the sun wants to bring in positivity vitality for you it wants to um, help you shine your light help you feel like you're expressing yourself in a way that um, is truly unique and allows you to shine your light in your unique way but it's because it's um, that trining libra energy that is trining your energy is being hit by its other cardinal signs it's giving a push of energy extra burst of motivation from the mars extra need to um, overcome any past traumas or wounds and work through those um, make changes and transformations or face your fears and be brave from the pluto energy in capricorn um, and of course we have that sun in in um, libra so we've got this energy going on around you at the moment in the stars aquarius so let's see what other cards are on the table for you for the week ahead aquarius Okay, we've got the Five of Cups in the upright position. And then we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse position. Okay, now that's the impulsive energy coming in from, um, as I said, all, all of this energy is affected. Um, it, it affects each other. It all is linked up because of um, this grand cross, this rare grand cross. All the energies are hitting each other. But it's affecting you through that Virgo Sun energy. Uh, sorry, that Libra Sun energy because that's trining your energy. So it does affect you. And I'm feeling that it can bring in a sense of impulsiveness from this Mars Mars energy in the cap in the Cancer sign, but also this um, wounded healer Chiron that's sitting in Aries, which is also quite impulsive. Um, impulsive need to work through wall, put up walls, or work through walls or traumas or past hurts. So this is all coming through for you, and it's a level of despair. So for some of you, you may be thinking about the future, um, relationships being cups, or feelings, emotions, um, a sense of despair of maybe things around the past, or there could be some kind of energy that's coming in that is. Um, impulsive and quick um, but it feels to be like a little bit of a down moment for you now I'm feeling also I've got to pull in this card that also fill out the three of the three of swords is there in the reverse position and that's saying that you're going through some in healing this is where the wounded healer over there that's happening in this grand trine is asking you to work through and make changes that allow your 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 soul or your spirit to heal heal from past wounds from your childhood heal from past wounds from past lives energy i'm feeling strongly from past lives too coming in and allowing you to heal from these heal heal this energy we've got a couple of other cards we've got this empress in the reverse and she is um it could be related to your dependence your dependence on other people um that's happening here so i'm not going to pull any other cards here because there's quite a fair bit that fell out on the table here but i am going to pull out one from my new deck for you Aquarius to see what your message is for the week ahead while I check your sign Aquarius there's not much going on there it's quite quiet and in your opposition of Leo there's nothing going on over there there is however stuff going on in your um, your squaring signs it's quite still quite hectic over there in Pisces uh, what are we Aquarius sorry you're, you're over in Taurus um, Taurus and Scorpio so Taurus where are we Taurus Taurus as I said I'm reading off a um, printed chart today because my computer is glitching and bringing up screens that I have to keep exiting out of so just looking at your squaring signs we've got Taurus energy um, of Uranus and wanting to be unique needing to find ways to come out of your comfort zone or being comfortable with yourself being comfortable in the skin you're in in your unique way so and it's being happy and comfortable in that area not being afraid to be yourself kind of energy there now over there in Scorpio we've got the communicator we've got Mercury sitting there so it's about a, a community not being afraid to communicate yourself in your own unique way um, say things that are a bit unusual say things that are a bit fringe like or on the fringe um, and it's just about really being yourself with this energy over this current week. 
and bringing them into alignment too I think because they're squaring energy um, I feel like it need, you need to bring that into alignment into your life you need to um, work that into your life to to make things kind of gel a little bit with you and, and work in with your own uniqueness so it's how you communicate um, a separation card here we've got um, we did have the three of swords in the reverse position um, and that's about healing from separation or disappointment and then we've got a separate card i am an aquarius ascendant so when i see stuff like this i think oh what's going to happen for the future what's coming up this week what is going on this week um, it's saying you you are very strong and that you will get through whatever situation that's um, coming up it could be something just little something some little disappointment some little um, energy of just things not going your way um, maybe a little bit of heightened emotion going on there or something that happens around um, yeah just a little bit of disappointment that's coming up around you this week Aquarius I'm sorry to say but I fit in this boat as well um, I feel you're very strong and you will be able to get through any anything now um, let me see if I can pull a positive card for you Aquarius for the week ahead it'd have to be the hardest sign that's come up this whole reading safe number 66 um, and it's safe you will be safe so that's that's important so whatever happens um, it's, it's safe everything's going to be safe here so thank you so much for joining me Aquarius I hope you have a great week ahead and I will see you again next week welcome Pisces Sun Moon and Ascendant signs to your astrology and tarot reading for the week ahead I'm going to be reading the chart to see what is happening in the planets in the sky at the moment and to see how they could be affecting you, Pisces. Now I'm reading off a printer chart today because my computer's glitching and it's bringing up screens in front of me that I have to keep moving. So I'm just reading off a printed chart today. So I can't quite move it through like I normally do to see what's sitting in what on what day. I'm reading today's reading from Thursday through to Wednesday this week. Okay, we have got the Queen of Wands. She's sitting in the reverse position, either indicating some kind of jealousy or the negative traits of the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands not sitting in her power. So she's not sitting in her strength. She's not sitting in her ability to action and she can be quite intuitive too she's a fire sign she's a spiritual suit um she and she can be quite good strong power she's got of of intuition now i'm feeling um i'm kind of feeling that she's not sitting in that energy right now so not sitting in her strength and power over this current week now i've got to say um i've got to let you know what's going on at the skies at the moment we've got this beautiful rare grand trine energy playing out in the skies at the moment in a cardinal sign cardinals bring in opportunities for you to achieve um, or to overcome difficulties and obstacles it gives you motivation and stamina to move forward so because it's a um, it's our cardinal signs there are signs that more bring um, value to goals and F, like efforts and ethics and and moving forward rather than um, fun and joy and relaxation so it's this energy that's really playing out in a big way strong intense energy to um, push you to motivate you to give you drive now the planets that are playing out what it means when we have this grand trine or it's not a grand trine it's a grand um, cross it's a cardinal grand cross with um, all of the cardinal signs so we've got Libra Sun we've got Mars in Cancer we've got the wounded healer in Aries and then we've got Pluto in Capricorn Pluto wants to bring changes and transformations this energy is all culminating and mixing together and hitting each other in a big way so it's so intense the Sun wants to talk about your vitality you um, being yourself and shining your beautiful light your positivity Mars is your stamina and your strength and your drive your motivation wounded healer is the um, working through past traumas or, or teaching others and helping them move through their traumas now um, how it affects you Pisces is through the water sign um, which is Mars Mars is in cancer Mars um, is that stamina that motivation it could be conflict or tension as well that is arisen now that Mars energy wants to help you it's trining energy so it wants to hit its helpful energy and wants to help you 
that's how you're connected to the grand cross through mars because the um the mars is connected to these other three planets and it's being intensified with its energy and then this mars energy hits your energy um pisces so therefore it wants to help you with it the mars wants to give you strength and motivation um into your sign now you've still got um saturn in re in reverse in retrograde um in your sign so therefore it is um obstacles and overcoming obstacles it could be on a deeply um in an inward kind of way because it's in retrograde so it could be about reevaluating certain certain things in your life looking at the obstacles that's come up in your life and how you need to deal with them in the future these kind of things could be playing out internally for you um neptune's in reverse so it's moving further into your sign because it was sitting on the edge um, neptune is the ruler of your sign and it wants to dissolve things that are no longer working for you so you are affected by this grand cross and you're affected through that mars energy that stamina that motivation that conflict kind of energy now we've got this um queen of ones the fire sign the mars is the fire energy mars is a very fire energy so it's a masculine energy and a fire energy now i'm feeling this is why it's this is what's kind of knocking you off your perch or off your personal power you know in a way and coming back down to um, its opposition sitting across in opposition to that mars energy is pluto pluto wants you to face your fears and be brave and i'm feeling that's what this energy is with you um, in the queen here that's in the reverse is not sitting in new power because you're not facing your fears you're not standing up for yourself you're not asserting your will you're not um thinking about your willpower and your strength it could even just be willpower it doesn't have to be against other people it can be against yourself it can be about having that will to move forward that will to willpower against um addictions so it's all that kind of energy now we've got the two of swords in the reverse position bringing in indecision or struggles with decisions so you're having tr having trouble trying to work through things um, mentally because the, your sword signs are your mental signs so it could be a mental struggle and as i said with that saturn in um, retrograde is an inward thing it's more of a mental thing it's kind of what goes on inside of your mind inside of your head that's playing out here so a lot of this could be going on in internally especially since you're a pisces rather than externally and it's about um where are the boundaries here the boundaries between what happens in the world around us and what happens um outside in the ether but also what happens mentally inside of us so this is all playing out within your sign today pisces for this week ahead so let's pull one more card for you pisces Okay, that's your final card and it is the moon the moon's in the upright position moon is it talks about illusion um okay so then that makes sense with you pisces let me just pop the screen out of the way so that does make sense with you pisces living in this dream world in this illusion world fantasy world could be um that you're in this indecision and you're not in your power because you're not seeing the situation of the, the world the way it is or the present situation in a physical form the you need to look at it from a more pers physical perspective not so mental not so ethereal um it's more physical that you need to look at it i think this is why this is why the illusions happening because you need to see things the way they really are happening and really are occurring not just what's going on inside of your head um or going on being affected off in, off with the fairies in a way because we've got that illusion moon card sitting there as well serious something serious going on um around asia so i don't know how that affects you pisces so let me pull in okay i didn't actually ask so i'll leave them sitting there but i want to ask for pisces for the week ahead a message for the week ahead let's keep that one out um 109 number 10 no or 9 or 109 could be important to you this week um, but free will free will is important and that's where we're bringing in that energy of will power assertion a dominance standing up for yourself standing in your power because your queen is in re reverse she's not in a power um, and she's the 
willpower she is um, a fire sign she's all about will she's all about impulsiveness um, willpower exploration adventure um, it's it's yeah she's that's what she's all about but she's not in her power so it's all about your free will choices you make um, in with this indecision it's about the choices that you make and you need to make them from a clear perspective um, not an illusional perspective is what it's saying here with this moon in the upright position. Thank you so much for joining me, Pisces. I hope you have a beautiful week and I will see you again next week.